A new chapter in Mario Party is here with a new game called Super Mario Party Jamboree. This claims to be the biggest and best Mario Party game yet, so why don't we put that theory to the test? Today we'll be playing 20 turns on a new map to the series, Rainbow Galleria. I will also be providing my thoughts on this game as the video goes on. First off, let's take a look at our roster. First is Yoshi, who always seems to become the biggest threat even if it might take him a little while. Next is Waluigi, he's usually an all-rounder except for bonus stars. And Birdo, she's just here for the chaos. Let the game begin. Turn 1 starts with Yoshi, who rolls an 8. I roll a 9, and because this is my first time playing on this map, I go the wrong way. Because guess what, I'm stubborn as hell. Both Birdo and Waluigi lose money because they really want that star, I guess. I don't know. Yoshi and I also absolutely dog on Waluigi and Birdo, which leads us into turn 2. Now this turn kind of shows something about this game that really pisses me off. Even when the CPUs are set to fast, which they were in this game by the way, the text boxes still take forever. I can't just mash through them like I could in Superstars. And I'm gonna be honest, seeing that a different CPU does the same thing over and over and over again and not being able to mash through is kind of annoying. Maybe this changes later on, but man, this game feels just so much slower. Anyway, I finally come back to reality and move in the right direction again. After destroying everyone in another minigame, Yoshi gets intimidated and puts a cursed dice on me. Oh, wait, it's called a, it's called a creepy dice. I'm not calling it that. He also picks up the star, which most likely would have gone to me if I had picked the right direction. Oh, but God plays favorites. And thanks to my little lucky break, I was able to pick up my first star of the game. Waluigi rolls absolutely fat, giving him a huge lead over everyone else. It's Birdo's turn, and... No, 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 no. What the fuck? What? You could just do that? What? It's still super early in the game, but one star could mean all the difference in this game. The coin minigame came and absolutely destroyed the economy, like it always does. Yoshi gets a shit ton of money and I cash out my card to get 10 coins. Oh yeah, on this map there are stamps that you can find all over the mall. If you come back to the station with one stamp, you get 10 coins, 2 is 20, 3 is 30, and 4 gets you 50 coins. I also got a warp pipe, not to be confused with a golden pipe because this just takes you to a random ass location. Birdo also got a markup sticker, which is terrifying. It's a double coin minigame, which means that all my teammates will obviously choke after I've choked. Flash sale! That means that everything in the mall is half off, including the shops and stars. And Rosalina also joins, but we'll get to her later. I take the elevator up to the third floor, which no one else seemed to think to do, but then... What? You can find a hidden block on these? Please, please, please. Dude, wait, that's a shot. I, I just fight. I need to shit my pants. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Well, that's definitely new. And now let's talk about the Jamboree Buddies. I think they're incredibly broken, personally. They allow you to buy double stars, double items, and they double event spaces. But if I've learned anything over my life, it's that Mario Party is a game of war, and you should take all the advantages you get. Anyway, I lost because my Joy-Con's motion controls make me want to rip my eyes out. Birdo didn't really do much this turn, so let's move on to the minigame. As usual, I dominate, which wraps up the first quarter of the game. Birdo the last turn had put a price tag on Yoshi for some reason, which actually caused him to take the longer path, which benefits me. Although this wasn't the turn apparently. But then, Waluigi takes my star using Boo. Again, we still have so many turns to go, but in order for us to be fine in the last five turns, you always need to be in striking distance of first place. With coins being traded by every damn person in the world, this minigame is actually kind of important for some people to win. And of course, I can't rely on my teammates to pick up my slack ever. Yoshi, in an attempt to murder uses a warp block and lands on the same location as me. However, he rolled hot ass, meaning a versus minigame. That I win. And I can get the star. <sighs> the torture never ends, huh? <sighs> ah! Birdo landing on chance time could take away the one thing I still have, which is funds. But luckily this ends up just being a fluke. Rosalina is finally gone, and Yoshi, of course, uses a markup sticker on me. But sometimes, fate has a really funny way of fucking over your enemies. So while yes, 
I had my price marked up, I finally got my star back. And thankfully, I was able to recoup some of the costs from a lucky space. However, the star moved right next to Birdo, allowing her to pick up another star. But I am the closest to the star now. Now you lost all your money. What? No, 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 no. I truly hate you guys. Bowser then comes and steals some coins from Yoshi, which I make sure to give an appropriate reaction. I use the double dice that I got from the lucky space to make my move towards the star. I also pick up another double dice for the inevitable cursed dice from Waluigi, and 10 coins to repay for all that. Surprisingly though, no curse block came, however he did get a shit ton of money from this machine. Birdo also cashes in on her card of 3, which holy shit you do not need that much money. <sighs> barely got this kid. It's another flash sale, which actually really works out because we don't have to spend that much money on my second star. However, something interesting happens. The star spawned just close enough for me to pick it up again in the same turn. And because of the flash sale, it was two stars for the price of one in one turn. While Luigi and Birdo also picked up their own items respectively. And with a double coin mini game win, we're doing well going into the second half of the game. Now something I do like a lot about Mario Party Jamboree is the bigger item pool. Strategizing is one of my favorite parts about Mario Party. So oftentimes, if there's more items, there's more ways to create strategies. Anyway, Birdo uses her custom dice to get to the star, even if the price was hiked. And this shop. I hate motion controls. I'm the one that's most behind from the star, so I pulled out my warp pipe. Whoa! That was like a golden pipe, holy crap. I don't even know what's going on here. I, I just don't know. I don't know. And once again, I was able to get two stars in one turn, which put me at a huge lead. And just like that, the star was also in walking distance. Luckily, even if I did land on a Bowser space, I took down everyone else with me. Birdo also stole from Waluigi because he was a bit closer to the star. But it was time for another Jamboree minigame. Yeah, this went horribly. But at least Birdo missed the star. I'm almost certain we played more 1v3s than normal minigames at this point. Start. Finish. Wow. Speedrunning. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Donkey Kong tried to move Yoshi, but I don't even think he moved to space. I was able to roll just fat enough to get me to another star, putting me at 6. However, while this position might look like an easy win for me, it's not. Now I have such a big lead. Every single time the computers pass Boo, they're going to steal from me, no matter what. But we just gotta keep this lead for only 7 more turns. How hard could it be? I also get to do the drawing happening space, where after two shitty draws, I win the jackpot. That I can't use because I'm broke. Birdo also steals Donkey Kong, because if you simply pass someone, that's enough to make friends. Maybe I should try doing that in real life. I need to get my funds up, so I try moving to a different location, which didn't really work out too well. Nothing else really happened this- Oh no! Birdo just gained a super dual glove, which basically works like a duel with stars. And for all I know, Birdo can use this glove at any turn she wishes. I really worked hard to win this minigame after that. It was time for another flash sale, and Donkey Kong was finally gone. But Yoshi was creeping up to boot, and with enough coins, what did you know? In the same turn, he was also able to get another star for himself as well. With it being a flash sale and Yoshi being way too close to the star for my liking, I popped a golden pipe, which is one of the most powerful items in the entire game, to grab another star. The star then spawns super close to Waluigi, allowing him to pick up another star as well. It was Birdo's turn, and thankfully, she didn't use the glove this turn. But she still steals my coins with this disgusting cumball. She might not have been able to get a star from the flash sale, but she would sure get one next turn. It's the last five turns. Now, in the previous game, Toad would come and give charity to a random person that wasn't even necessarily in last place. However, this game is different. Last place is always selected, and instead of an item, they get to choose an event that completely changes the way you play the game. And Waluigi chose to double red and blue spaces, meaning you can either gain or lose 12 coins. Thankfully, Birdo's soon-to-be star was halted by an old friend, but me and Yoshi entered a duel. Do you even know who I am? 
I pop a mushroom. No, no, we're not saying it like that. I use a mushroom allowing me to roll super fat, which gets me close to the star. However, a red space is devastating to my wealth. And Waluigi used a markup card, making it nearly impossible for me to buy a star. Once again, Birdo's turn came, and I guess she was occupied by trying to switch with me instead of stealing from me. One rigged minigame later, and I get 12 coins because of the insane price hike. However, well, I'll take it. Waluigi, however, swaps me, allowing him to get the star. Out of everyone that could have gotten it, he was the best candidate for me. Birdo again uses another item that isn't her glove, which makes me super happy. But she cashes in on her card, which almost doubles her funds. It's turn 18. I haven't made a major play in way too long, which has allowed the competition to catch up. See, that's the problem with getting too far ahead too early. It makes it hard to keep up that momentum. However, I can't do it this turn as Yoshi curse blocked me. But again. Love those 12 points. What? Guys, this is my third lucky block in a row. We ready? Are you kidding? How? How? And how? How? Waluigi will also make sure that I won't move again next turn either. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay. It's finally that turn. Birdmageddon is here, and Birdo used her super dueling glove on me, meaning stars were on the line in this new game. Luckily, it's only one star, but I still cannot choke this. But even in this new game, this is still Mario Party. The game where one simple mistake can change the course of history forever. And me choking at the last minute could be the downfall of this game. I even messed up the mini game too. And with that, only two turns are left. Something big needs to happen. And unfortunately for me, that happened. No way, no way, no way, no way. What is with that spot? It's given four bonus. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no. <coughs> this is bad. But I guess we've got to help Luigi and I finally get an advantage. Great, I can't even do that. Add one more fuck you onto an ever growing list as Waluigi steals coins from me. If I cannot get another star, then it will be most likely that I will lose the game. And no matter what, this game will go into bonus stars against me and Birdo who just picked up another star, putting her on par with me. After a minigame win, I thankfully had enough coins to get a star. However, it's the last turn, and the star is nowhere near me. Yoshi also closes in on the star with Luigi, meaning he was able to get himself two stars, which puts him in first place. Even though he lost a lot of money, he was able to get most of it back thanks to the stamps he collected. This was my last chance. If my warp pipe or my roll failed, then this game will become near impossible for me to win with bonus stars. However, somehow through all the bullshit, I was able to warp successfully and roll perfectly to pick up the last star of the game, meaning I had a better shot going into bonus stars. No one else was able to get any stars, so this was it. The mini game was not gonna help. I had to get at least one more star than Yoshi to win. And well, sometimes fate has a funny way of fucking over your enemies. Mario Party is a luck-driven game in its core. It calls out to all the gamblers of the world who are willing to put their life on the line. In this world, which luck defines, sometimes it will call back to you. Mario Party is a timeless classic that might have had a couple growing pains, but is back and better than ever. I can confidently say that this was one of the closest and funnest Mario Party games I ever had. And now that the dust has settled and this story has wrapped up, I have to ask if you could consider subscribing and liking the video. Only if you feel up to it, of course. Mario Party is back and I couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching.